Take up your cross. Take up your cross. Take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross. Take up your cross. Take up your cross and follow me. Whoever wishes to come after me. Deny himself. Whoever wishes to come after me must take up his cross and follow me. Take up your cross, take up your cross, take up your cross and follow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Welcome to this celebration of Eucharist on this 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time I. Just before the Mass, I had this beautiful chat with John, Bob, and Leanne, the team. We are talking about life. And sometimes the irony of our life. I did annoy a few people in one day, maybe four, um, and it's a very draining experience sometimes. But on the other side, it's a very rewarding experience where I'm helping people um, who are dying and also the family who are surviving. When we look in that way, sometimes we find more meaning in our faith journey. Today's readings speaks about human irony, the life, and also that may have an impact on our own faith journey as well. We will explore a bit more that in my homily today. Now take a moment to bring ourselves in the presence of God a God who loves us unconditionally. Wherever you may be, bring yourselves as you are with all your merits and demerits. God makes us worthy. Now let us pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
let us pray god of might giver of every good gift put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the prophet jeremiah you have seduced me lord and i have let myself be seduced you have overpowered me you were the stronger i am a daily laughing stock everybody's butt each time i speak the word i have to howl and proclaim violence and ruin the word of the lord has meant for me insult derision all day long i used to say i will not think about him I will not speak his name any more. Then there seemed to be a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. The effort to restrain it wearied me. I could not bear it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. My, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting for you, O oh Lord, my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. My, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, Lord, Lord my God. God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, you O Lord, 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 my God. God. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. My, my soul, soul is thirsting for you, for you O Lord, Lord my God. God. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers, and worship him, I beg you, in a way that is worthy of thinking beings. by offering your living bodies as a holy sacrifice truly pleasing to god do not model yourselves on the behavior of the world around you but let your behavior change modeled by your new mind this is the only way to discover the will of god and know what is good what it is that god wants what it is the perfect thing to do the word of the lord thanks be to god alleluia alleluia may the father of our lord jesus christ enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called alleluia alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders. 
and chief priests and scribes, to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then, taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce him and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? Or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and when he does, he will reward each one according to his behavior. The Gospel of the Lord. I spoke to you um, in the very beginning of the Mass that today's readings point out the irony of human life. Last week we heard the great confession and profession of faith by Peter, who said, You are the Son of God, you are Christ, the Living One. And today we see a truly different picture of Peter, wherein Jesus says, Satan, get behind me. And that's how sometimes when I reflected on this reading, I thought there are a number of moments in my life where I can see Peter in me. Wherein I place my thinking before the thinking of God. Origin, one of the church fathers, explains this situation of Peter in this way. Origen says, maybe Jesus is saying to Peter, Peter, your place is behind me, not in front of me. It is your place to follow me in the way I choose, not to try to lead me in the way you would like me to go. And when I was reflecting in combination with what the Church Father Origen says, I'm not different from Peter many of the time, because when things need to happen in my way, I ask God to walk with me. And I walk in front because that's my why, that's why, that's why I want things to happen. And I put Jesus behind me or God behind me. And I say, or I command him, do this in my way. This is the way that I want things to happen. Probably Peter is doing the same mistake there. He is saying, maybe with great intention, the simplicity of Peter we have seen, but with great intention he is saying, now I don't want you to go through this. 
because peter see authority power in jesus kingship he hasn't really understood that jesus must go through this passion death before a resurrection that hasn't sinked into any of the disciples and sometimes i feel like i haven't really understood to live my faith i need to follow first not lead and that's the confusion or the irony that i'm talking about in our human life and i think um a few years ago i spoke about a cafeteria catholicism when you go to a cafeteria you can pick and choose what you want what is according to the taste of ours and some people who have got this great gift of faith they are like this cafeteria catholics some of the things in their faith in their catholic church they love they want they enjoy and they want to be part of that but there are some things which they said no 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 that's not me i don't want to be there because to live the faith it's not easy it's very tough very tough to live our faith every day in everything and that's where i say people pick and choose in their faith and say i'm happy with that i'm not happy with that unfortunately faith comes as a package it's in a combination it's like in our our own life say look at a, a married life a family life oh i don't want this of you i want this of you can we live in that way no we won't go together long then i don't want this aspect of my child i don't want this character of my child i love the other character of my child we can't pick and choose it's a combination in our own family life in our own personal life the moment people are trying to pick and choose problems starts look at where the family problems starts the moment we start pick picking on people the moment we start choosing on things the same way our faith gets disturbed challenged the moment we pick and choose when it is smooth everything is going okay um happy i'm happy to say i'm a catholic when everything is going not the way i refrain from saying i'm catholic or i fail to proclaim my faith i think that's the biggest problem that we have and that's the human irony in our own everyday life that we are talking about and that affects our own faith journey too and that's where peter is there peter is confused he is picking and choosing that glory of kingship authority i love that but the passion death that i need to go through the struggle and jesus says in the second part of today if you want to follow me behind me you need to take up you need you need to take up your cross there is a denial in that there is a taking up of cross is there you need to follow there are three steps that you need to do as a christian disciple a disciple of christ denial is not detaching from everything but to say i'm willing to suffer i'm willing to take the struggle i'm willing to walk the hard walk when it is needed and that's where denial taking up the cross and follow jesus becomes a very important component in our own life and especially during this pandemic i've seen people sometimes carrying that heavy burden within themselves like jeremiah did in the first reading he is speaking about the difficulty of his mission 
In the very first instance, he said to God, I'm incapable of doing this. I don't have any ability. But God spoke to him and said, I've chosen you from the very beginning of your life. You are a chosen one. You are special. And I give you the gift. When Jeremiah again comes and complains to God that I'm incapable. This is very difficult mission. Yes, faith to be a Christian is a very difficult path. Not everyone can walk the same way as Christ's followers do. True and real followers. And in the second reading we hear St. Paul saying, you need to make yourself holy. That someone who is appealing to God, you, don't, you shouldn't be getting conformed to this world. And that's what happened to Peter. The moment he related himself to this world authority, realities of life, he said, no, this is not what I want. I don't want you to go through this. Reflect today on our own faith journey. Are we in this sort of irony in our own life, in our family, in our faith? Am I willing to say at any point of my life, whether it's ups and downs, to say, I am a Catholic. I'm willing to deny, I'm willing to take up my cross, I'm willing to walk with Jesus. We must ever take the why of Christ and never seek to cumble him to take our why. We need to follow Jesus. Let us all stand and profess our faith. And today we use Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Loving God, help us on our journey through life by your constant care and by answering these prayers we place before you today. For the bishops and religious leaders, may they never forget their role as pastors, tasked with humbly bringing us all closer to God. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That our souls may thirst for you and that you inspire hope in us. May we live our lives in your service and endeavour to pass on a sense of hope to those with whom we come into contact. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in aged care across the nation, may they receive increased protection from the COVID-19 virus and live with peaceful hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For displaced people and refugees around the world, may they be spared further persecution and dislocation, and may they be able to find a welcoming home. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all migrants who have made Australia their home, may they live in peace, happiness and prosperity, and may we all be enriched by the values and customs they bring from many lands. 
Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our relatives, friends, and fellow parishioners who have died, or who are seriously ill, favour them with your concern and support. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear hear our prayer. Loving God, your kindness knows no end. In faith we bring these prayers before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. to Christ to who humble himself by humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for three your goodness we have received of the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all the creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, for my liberty and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he he announced the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, a God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I'm using the Eucharistic prayer for that is used for various needs um, at different Masses. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, We ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts 
of a bread and wine that they may become forest the body and blood of our lord jesus christ on the day before he was to suffer on the night of the last supper he took bread and said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore holy father as we celebrate the memorial of christ your son our savior whom you loved through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated at your right hand we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing look with a favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion bring your church o lord to perfect faith and charity together with francis our pope and christopher our bishop with all bishops priests and deacons and the entire people you have made your own open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command and may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom to peace and justice that all people may be raised up to a new hope remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known amid admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and martyrs mary of the cross maculate and with all the saints we shall praise and exalt you through jesus christ your son through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, whose dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In an appropriate way, let us acknowledge the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Take a moment to receive Jesus spiritually in our life. With great desire and love, we welcome God into our hearts to live in each one of us, to make us living temples of God, so that when we are confused in our faith, he will help us to walk with him, to follow him through self-denial, taking up cross and following him.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the mass is entered. Lord, take my heart, Lord, take my will, the thing my life I will not fear. The dark of night, love surrounds me with your light. Lord, let me be a force of hope where there's despair. You need the eyes to see you there, the love to just reach out my hand. Build your kingdom where I stand The work is great and you call on me To follow you, yeah. to follow you Lord, to my life Lord, to my life Lord, to my dreams Lord, to my hopes Lord, to my Follow where you lead, Lord. Let me be for something.